The Spunko offices were kind of gross. These weird little dank rooms. The best way I can describe that studio was it was a shithole. Spill. I should all be in jail. Like, yeah. <laughs> Spunko was this horrible old building that had been supposedly a brothel for, for Paramount, and it was like covered in ugly white tile, looked like a giant urinal, basically. It was so much fun. We all were like, you know, having a good time waiting for somebody to kick the door in and drag us out in the street and tell us to get the hell out, you know? It's, it's weird that they let us do it. We all were being the bad boys, you know, being the Rolling Stones of the animation industry, and uh, we pissed people off, and we were kind of a bunch of rude jerks. It was John, Bob, Vincent. Vincent's just like Mr. Cool, calm. And then Bob's intense. So Bob has the intensity between John and Vincent, but they're all demented. If an alien spaceship landed and took everybody that was hanging out there, it would be a really bad sampling of the human race. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think the excitement was like, wow, we really get to do this. How do we do it? You know, just wanting to get everything in there. Lynn was the heart, you know, and John was the brains, and we were all just, you know, playing different instruments. Spumco was probably the greatest collection of talented artists. Not just animators, not just character designers, not just background artists, artists. It just stunned me, like, how good everyone was. I mean, Jim Smith was the, the best draftsman that I've ever met, probably in my life, if not for Chris Riccardi, too. And Bill Ray, he's an extraordinary artist. I walk in and there's Bill Ray painting these paintings that I think should have been in museums. This was a cartoon and these were the backgrounds that were gonna be in the cartoon that we're making here, oh my God. We would use sponges to do dot pattern effects. These are makeup sponges. And when you're trying to get a, a transition of dark to light, you press it on there. I've said for many years, and I believe this, there should be a coffee table book of all of Bill Ray's backgrounds from Ren and Stimpy. I mean, what a book that would be. He started doing abstract splashes of color to heighten the emotion, and that's everybody's stealing that today. John knows what he wants, you know, and he knows what works, and he knows what doesn't work, and he knows what he likes. And I think he made all of us, he certainly made me a better artist, better color stylist, for sure. John's got a ton of charisma. And his magic was able to bring really multi-talented people together in a unified force, you know, that had conviction and belief and stuff. If anything could be called genius, that's, you know, being able to mobilize people to come together to produce something great. It's not rare to find people who have unique personalities. It's rare to find people who can tap them.